So, hey guys, Chauzo here. So time for another PvP guide video, and this is going to be a beginner-oriented video. We're going to talk about Rumble Scrolls, how do you get them, and how do you use them. Let's get into it. Probably won't be the longest video, don't feel like there's too much to talk about, but this is important for beginners, I feel. So if you go to the PvP menu, like this is where you get most of your Rumble Scrolls. If you check the rewards, first we have the challenge reward, which you get by playing naturally. If you don't use any gems for stamina, I think you get like 70, 80 wins potentially. So you should gem a bit and you should obviously save that for the finals. I've received my rewards, but you see that there's a lot of different ones here. Uh, in case you didn't know, the gold ones, the gold border ones are the best. Civil border are not as good and uh, uh, a bit more, uh, I guess bronze color ones are the worst but all of them are perfectly viable and i use all of them all the time uh, you can also get if we go back you can also get rumble scrolls as part of the ranking rewards you'll probably be in exhibition in the beginning so that's not the best reward we go to like here uh, you do get a few gold border ones, one of each color at least, and a few silver and some bronze. So it's better than nothing. And each block also has some rewards. Don't think they give any gold ones though, but hey, everything counts. If you get like here, you get some bronze ones and one each of the silver ones. So not the best, but it's something. Uh, the second way to get Rumble Scrolls in general are from Relix Bazaar. You both have the options to buy them with Rainbow Gems, which I don't really recommend. Uh, how many do you even get? Not sure how many you get, to be honest. But you get a few of them. It says you get 180. That's actually quite a lot. It's the silver ones though, so not the best ones. But still, uh, we'll really consider that considering the price. Uh, what you should consider though is trading with training points. I think I bought the good ones, yeah. Basically, you can buy both bronze, silver and gold. This month I already bought the silver and gold. I always buy them. Uh, I've not really bought the bronze though, but if you're a beginner, I, you should maybe consider it just because you need all you can. And just buy as much as you can. But the question, of course, is maybe you don't have enough rumble points. I made videos of this in the past, so I'll just go over it briefly. As a beginner, uh, you should probably still try and farm for experience anyway. And the best way to do that is if you go to the extra islands, what you said, it, which is called a went here. Then you go to power up. You go to this one with Luffy and Cavendish, press on the Usopp one, and you do Usopp's quest here. And the team I run, which might be hard, but I'll show it anyway, is here. We got Ho-Ship, Marco, and then just tap timing sailors. If you have Marco, you should run him. If you don't have Marco, you should try and run Yak, uh, this guy. Uh, if you don't have the 6 plus, the 6 star also works fine. And if you don't have any of them, you can try like Neptune, who is available in the Colosseum. He also uh, gives some experience. I used him for quite a while myself before I got Yak back in the day. So run them as Cap. And like if you don't have any special ones, you can just run whatever you want. High stats basically. You can also use like Treasure Map Sword and stuff like that and kill with specials, but do not recommend too much effort. And then you just spam runs. I can do a run while talking. I actually had max stamina for like three days. I don't think that has ever happened. I've been very lazy recently. Or, well, not recently. Uh, lazy per se. I've been doing a lot of stuff. But the time I've spent like... Uh, using my stamina to form stuff 
I've instead been playing Pokemon basically. So just do three times stab and then just spam rounds. Every round you will get three copies of Usopp, which you can sell and get quite a few of points for the Ray League Bazaar. And then you just grind this a lot and eventually you'll have a lot of points. It's obviously not the only way to get points, but we'll get to that later. So yeah, pretty straightforward. I made quite a few videos playing this content, but yeah, it never gets old, I guess. Uh, as a beginner, this is definitely how you should spend quite a bit of free time when you don't feel like doing anything in particular. And yeah, this is definitely one of the best investments if you want more resources for Pyro Rumble, because basically all other resources are time locked. This is the one that you can actually farm for indirectly. So as you see, they are got three use of copies. And then you just farm a lot. I'm not going to farm more now. But then you just sell what you farm and you get points for the Rayleigh Bazaar. So I can just sell them. And then you can obviously sell units from Sugos as well. I can sell a few of my dupes here. Like I'm a long-term player, so most of my units I have already maxed. Otherwise, in general, I recommend uh, maxing units before selling dupes. Like level limit break, stuff like that. But yeah, that way you can farm points for the Ray League Bazaar. So if we remove, move on to the final topic. Uh, how to use Rumble Scrolls. So let's just take a look at that. It has actually got a bit harder to use Rumble Scrolls now. Uh, due to the new Grand Party feature. Uh, if we take... I decided I spend some scrolls on Katakuri. He looks okay in PvP. I might use him sometime. So he was the only one I could feel justified to use some scrolls on. Not that I lack scrolls, but still want to use them properly. So yeah, basically Katakuri is int, so you want to use int scrolls. Always try and use of the same color, otherwise you use you lose value because same color scrolls give an extra boost to the experience you get. Uh, one thing to consider is, is if you, it's like a duo unit with different colors, you can use either of the colors. Anyway, this is what I always do. Of the uh, gold ones, I do 22 scrolls. Of the si uh, silver ones, I do all of them. And of the br uh, bronze ones, I do 48. And if we move on, uh, you will see that this max the rumble special and rumble ability, but it doesn't put barely anything in the GP stat. Yeah, just 300 left, good enough for me. So yeah, that's how I f feed. And if you want to feed for GP stat as well, like, just feed even more. I don't really have a set number for how much to feed for GP stats. I'm sure it's out there, but feeding GP stats are so rare right now that I don't really think about it much. But yeah, I think that's the end of the video. I feel like I went through the essentials. Uh, I linked my video, last beginner video down below. There I talked a bit about what units you should invest in as a beginner. And to put it short, it should be the big meta units that are on those common teams and can carry teams. So if you're interested in how to spend Rumble Scrolls, check the other video out. But yeah, this video is done. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.